Hello again, everyone. Ambassador Terry over at What Are You Doing? Year three with another fabulous person to interview, Sophie Jacobs. Sophie, thanks for coming. Hi, Terry. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. I'm really appreciating being on here, speaking with you. Well, I'm excited to hear what you're doing. Ladies and gentlemen, so are you, because I've had a couple of close colleagues say, connect with this lady. She's doing some neat stuff. So here it comes. Sophie <laughs> Jacobs, what are you doing? It's a good question. What am I doing? Um, well, this month I am publishing my first book called The Intuition Experiment. Um, it's been a two year long journey of writing this book. And actually it connects all the way back to August of 2020 when my house burned down. So essentially I had an intuitive hit or a gut feeling and inner knowing that I needed to leave my house. I was home alone and it actually ended up saving my life. And at the time, I was a skeptic of this thing called intuition or inner knowing. And that uh, single event really set the momentum for the life that I'm living right now and what I'm exploring. So I ended up actually quitting my job and going to a Buddhist monastery where I stayed for about a year and ordained for, um, for three months as a Buddhist nun in training. And during that time of really grounding down and connecting to myself and uh, nature in a radically different way than I had um, for previous years, this thought came up and it was, you should write a book about intuition. And it came in three. And um, something about it really just struck me. And so I just went with it. So essentially I ended up writing stuff in my journal around this theme. And what's interesting about this book, I feel like is a lot of times memoirs are employed in like the, the, the past tense, but my story was actually made as I was writing it. So essentially I set the intention to follow the theme of inner knowing and intuition. And um, I devoted my life to it for, for the next year plus. And so essentially everything that I have in my book was just uh, an investigation. It was a, it was a real time kind of exploration. And so it, it's almost like a skeptic's journey of understanding this theme. And so I really believe through this process of, of writing this book, um, we're collectively experiencing an age of transformation coming into wisdom, coming into intuitive wisdom of discernment. And these are all skills that are really, really, really valuable for us right now in this information age. And I'm particularly interested in the area of young adults. Um, I like to see myself as a bridge worker working in the in-between spaces. And I think particularly um, this age of young adulthood is important because young adults are kind of the future. And um, because we're experiencing such a massive shift in consciousness in just kind of seeing the world and how we relate to it. I believe that when we connect to ourselves on a deeper level and um, there emerges that inner peace of that integrity of the heart, we can have deeper and more authentic connections with others. And that just ripples out into the whole world. And so essentially from my book, what I'm starting to do is host these intuitive connection workshops for young adults. And really connecting around the theme of inner intuitive connection and then having that connection go out into um, spaces with other people. And so I'm just rolling with this kind of idea in my life. And so I'm hosting these workshops. I'm just publishing my book, but I'm also looking forward to um, host perhaps retreats this year and even get into to coaching. So I'm just really seeing this momentum kind of take force in my life. And it's really centered around this theme of intuition, inner knowing, and, and kind of the wisdom of integrating the heart and the mind. Fabulous. Fabulous. Talk about intuition. Something tells you you need to leave the house and a little while later, the house burns down, saving your life. What a story. What a book. Can't wait to see it. 
Thanks for coming, Sophie. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks so much for having me, Ambassador Terry. You're welcome. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Consortium, the business model for the 21st century.